take a look at my kayak setup. First thing I do is put my seat in. It's uh, attached to four points to the kayak. Very comfortable, has a high back. Then rod holders, fish grips, rags of course, a goodie bag with floats and sinkers and stuff like that. Of course you gotta have your life vest. And this is my uh, another rod holder with my bait reel, bait uh, fishing rod. Long nose pliers, cooler, and two rod holders, water, bait bucket, a float for my uh, anchor in case the rope falls down, the rope will float, and my bait bucket, you just see me put that in there, that's a yellow one. Now it looks like the only thing that's missing is, uh, yep, fishing rods. Oh, can you guess what else I should bring? Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. What did I go and get? Ah, that would help. <laughs> and this is a must, of course. You take your uh, regular shoes off and put on your kayaking shoes. These shoes have holes in them. And they do have a back in them, so in case you have to get out, they won't fall off. But they will let the water out easily. So, there's the light vest. My camera stand right there, and all kinds of goodies right down the bottom, between my legs. Uh, the little, the bag, with all the goodies in it. And I also have a bag for my cell phone, a Ziploc bag. That's the one with extra line. There's my other bag and hooks and other things, scissors, water, a towel, I put that around my neck, cool it, cool the towel with the water and put it around my neck, keeps me cool. There's more, there's bait, there's my anchor rope, the blue, there's my bait bucket, my dry box. I put my keys in there before we uh, go kayaking. And of course, you gotta have the wheels for transport and for helping me uh, load the, the kayak back up on the car. So here's this whole setup, two fishing rods, well, I actually have three or four sometimes. Oh, don't forget the uh, anchor trolley. I could put the anchor in the back or in the front because of the anchor trolley. All right, we got the depth finder on. That's the next thing. Put the phone in a dry bag. In other words, a Ziploc bag. <laughs> okay. Put that here. Put the uh, bait bucket. Let's look for some bait. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just open it up. Throw the anchor on this side of the boat.
here we hold. This would be perfect if we held here. This doesn't feel right. But anyway, here we are. Slip barber. Oh, we got a fish. Well, no, we don't. We had a bite. There's a difference between having a fish and having a bite. That was a bite. Okay, that's a good sign. Cast it in there again. Can you see a barber? Standing up and down, no problem. No fish activity. <laughs> yes, there is. Didn't even know I had them. All right. Oh, I don't swallow my hook. Swallow the hook. Not too bad. All right, we got it out. Now, now we gotta get the bait bucket. Put the fish in there. Tie the bait bucket close. Okay. Oh, we got one. about six. There it goes. So Come on, let's go. Where is the other piece of the worm? Right here. Not a lot of activity up on top. I think most of it is uh, turtles. You see, uh, almost coming out of the water. That's a lot of turtles. Uh, I'm going to hang in here for a few more minutes and then I'm going to go on the other side of the bridge and look for shade. Well, I got a, uh, I have some fish right underneath the kayak, just floating, and something is very, very interested in it. Look, okay. Let's get the cut bait out. It's heading in that direction. Going into the tree. Stop now. Hope he's eating it. Uh, 
All right, so that was a live sunfish right underneath the kayak. This is what happened before with the bowfin. He, he ran into the kayak. I seen him swimming up on top. And then I uh, dropped the cut bait down and he took it. Well, of course, I lost him. It's tough to catch them. Their mouth is so hard. Now look at the wind blowing, so I gotta control the kayak. So he doesn't feel like he uh, he's hooked. I have no idea if he's got it or not. If he still has it. Oh yeah, he still got it. You see it. He still got it. Gotta be patient. Let him do his thing. It's a circle hook, so it's not a big circle, it's three odd. Which is good for guard, it gets right around their uh, beak. But the bowfin, they don't have a big mouth either, so. See no movement in the line. Yes, I do now. I do. Okay. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. You see it? See it? You see it? Okay, should we set it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I still feel something. He's still, still got it, jumping down on it. It's on the bottom now. Let's see, let me pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, I got him so far. So far, so good. Yeah, it's a bullfin. <laughs> it's hit the boat. Wow, he swallowed it good. Whoa. Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> he just splashed me. Uh, most likely I'm going to have to let him have the sunfish. Let's get the uh, grippers ready. them in the left hand. No. I'm gonna put them in the right hand. Whoa. 
I wanted to do it right hand. Let's bring the rod up. They play like they're uh, they're all <laughs> like they're all tuckered out. <laughs> I know your game. I know your game. See the mouth? It's not that big. Yeah, I see the tail of the sunfish. I'm just gonna cut the hook up. Okay, he's he's mine. Let me set up the camera. Let me keep him. I wanna put him on this. Okay, he's okay. Ooh, look at that wind. Whoa! What we got? Whoa! Oh, now that's a brim. He's a little too big to keep. He's a little too big to keep for what I want. Okay, a little too big, little big guy. I'm gonna let you go. There he goes. Okay. Go back on this spot. All I'm doing is drifting. I think it's going to be a windy day today, they said. Uh, let's cut this guy in half. Okay. I always put a wet Escape. There he goes. He's trying to escape into the water. I'll let you in the water. Wait a second. Look at this slimy little thing. Okay. He's doing his best. He almost got away. Lucky I'm as fast as a cat. Okay. That one was a little too big. Let's go back to the spot. About seven foot of water here. Let's see if we can catch his baby. I don't like to keep a uh, big brim like that. At least not for bait. Let the guys that fish for them and catch them to eat, let them uh, catch that one. But I had a bite. Eighty-four degrees. I'm in about eight foot of water. Coming out some structure now. And I'm getting a bag right away. Got him. What do we got? How about that? Can you see that? This is my second uh, yellow perch in South Carolina. I guess you could use them for bait. Got to read the regulations. Okay, let's drop the worm again. Try to get. All right. I was uh, 
I was getting hung up, so I switched over to a slip bobber. You know what a swift split, uh, what do you call it? You know what that is? Slip bobber? Well, look it up. Look it up on YouTube or someplace. A lot of guys use that here. And it's like fishing when you were a kid. I don't have enough weight on that one to make the bobber stand up. So basically what happens is go to Walmart anyway, get yourself one of those slip bobber knots, things, strings, put that up there. I got a bead in my line and a sinker and a hook. But the sinker is not big enough. So it's okay, plenty more sinkers. So that sinker's not big enough. What we'll do, we'll put a bigger sinker right on top of it. Oh, come on, but not pinch it down. Just squeeze it. The first sinker will stop it from sliding down anymore. Now watch the difference. That cork ought to pop right up. And I could see it. Can you see the red cork? When it's too shallow, it's going to lay flat. Oh, you could still get hung up. But now it's easy. I've got what? Three feet? Of water. Okay, just drop down. Yeah, I think I got a fish right there. Yep. I didn't think I had my bait bucket, but there it is. I did good. There's still one thing I did forget, but I'm not going to talk about that. Just have to go on the shore, that's all. I'm not catching anything with, uh, come on. His mouth is too small. There it is, to get the hook. It's a catch. Okay. Let's knock him out. Okay, calm down. Swallowed it further than I wanted to. <sighs> now it's too simple cut bait. See if we have a better luck with cut bait. Uh... What I usually like to do is cut these things off. Okay. And don't make it too big. It's too big of a bait. You're not going to catch big fish. Well, because why? Because the mouth can't go around it. Okay. 
let's get rid of this. If he's still alive. No, he's gone. Do I have something? How about that? Uh, small gar. Well, he's small enough to we could take him to the bank. Okay. Open up the bear, let him run a little bit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, almost lost the rod there. Okay. Now, let's get this one. What's happening here? Used to be live bait here. It's gone. Okay, let's go to the bank. Let's go to the bank and take a look at the score. do that now because all right okay calm down no I don't want to be between him and the bag not a good thing not a good thing to do let's see if we could take this all the way around Around here, around here, now. Okay. Now we're not between him and the bank. Always when you come to the bank, feel it. Make sure you're not going to get swamped. Not swamp, but I mean, you're not gonna sink in. Uh, it's pretty. Whew. Okay. Nothing wrong with throwing the anchor out. Okay. Let me get the uh, pliers. Need on those pliers here. <laughs> I still don't want to play with him too much. I'm going to open up. Right there. Trying to help you. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. All right, pretty looking fish. Easy. There he goes. No harm. So they all look alike. Well, you got the idea of the gore close up. They all look alike, except some of them are bigger. I'm surprised when I grabbed him, he wasn't fighting like uh, other fish. I won't be doing that too many times. Uh, maybe if it's a big gar. I'm going to have to get different pliers, longer pliers, and maybe have gloves just in case. Uh, let's go and see if we can get some bass and whatever else feeds on the bottom later. It's a bullfin kind of a day. Look at this. Lock it in and see what happens. Locked in. Whoa, whoa. Hold on to the rod. See? All bullfin. I'm cut bait. Oh, I lost them. I lost them. I lost them. I lost them. See? You get the hook. Still got the hook. Still got the hook. You see what's happening. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to let it eat it. Eat all he wants. I'm not catching uh, bait fish either. If it is a bowfin, I'm not going to rush him. The kayak is swinging around. Let's see, there's no, no bait in here, so let's put this in the back for me. The activity here, activity over there. You know what? I should put this back in the water. Just put this one back in there. Open up the uh, bait runner. Put it back in here because the other one, that one, it just stopped. I don't know. It just stopped. See what happens. Could could be a uh, fish in there. Could be a bullfin eating it. Yeah, 
there's something there. There's definitely something there. Oh, I got it out of it just in time. It's on this side. Another bullfin. Good things for bullfin today. <laughs> he tried to knock me out of the boat. Well, you guys seen him. Calm down. Yeah, he swallowed the circle hook. Wow. Can I get it? What a good fighting fish. Oh no, he swallowed it all the way. Really, really knocked me off the boat. You guys are fish for bass, you don't know what you're missing. Can I slap me again? <laughs> Bring him up. What a fighter, what a fighter. Alright, you know what, I'm going to have to cut the line anyway, so... Let's not torch him more than we the goodbye. They're free, there he goes. There goes this line. Here we go, let's see what we got. what we're looking for. I thought it was a gar. But it is a bowfin. Good going. Get that drag. What good are these things? Just slip right out of his mouth. Can I got you or not? Okay. Let him go. Should have let you see it.
either on my, uh, my Facebook. Maybe I'll put it together and show it to you. Let's go get another one. Yeah, we could go to St. Place. We could fish in the same place. Dangling in the water, cut bait, and all of a sudden, this happens, goes down. I got a fish on here. And I'm cut bait. Caught himself. Oh, yeah. Another bowfin on cut bait, all on the bottom. I love those fish. I love the way they fight. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? He looked at me. He said, whoa. Come on now. I'm going to let you go. Now that's circle hook. Oh, the paddle. He caught himself, now he's wrapped around. Are you kidding me? Can you see my glasses? Back to action. Okay. Let me see. I don't care for these uh, grips. I don't know if you guys... Oh, stop. I don't know if you have these grips or not, but I don't care for them at all. Second time, I had him a couple of times. Okay, let's see if he gets it. Uh, yep, you see? Man, they beat it up. Okay, but it slips. Now what the hell was that? What good is this? Are these things supposed to be doing it? <laughs> no, I don't know. You see, it's not working. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting rid of these things. They don't work for me. Look at that beautiful circle hook. Right there, where you want him. See those teeth? Yeah, you don't want to really... Uh, you don't want to finger in there like you do for best. So the sharp. You got it. Okay, easy, easy, big guy. You got to have a sharp one for him. All right, let's let you go. You gotta love it when you let him go. Let me see. I'm not gonna put no pressure on him. I don't know what he's doing with it right now. He's laying down eating. Or he dropped it. No, I, no, he still got it. I feel him. I feel him do his whatever he does. 
Whatever he's doing, whatever he's doing, yeah, he's going. He did something with it just now, whether he dropped it or got it closer to his now, nah, he's still there. That was a pretty big fish that I gave him to eat. Sorry about the wind. Still eating it. Still got it. No rush, buddy. Take your time. See there we go. Oh now he's going this way. Wow. Now he's going back where he started. He's got a lot of line. Let's Okay. It's up on top. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Where is he? Still coming. I lost him. No, nope, he's going the other way now. No jumping yet. No idea what it is. But he's pulling. He is pulling. He is pulling. I'm anchored up. So I'm okay. He's going to the trees. Now he's going. Now he's going the other way. Nice sized fish to pull this way. Oh, there it is. Broke it. You know what it was. <laughs> You know what it was. Oh well, I got the hook back. No, didn't get the hook back. He took the hook. Okay, I'm just drifting along. Heading towards the um, dock. Looks like we might get the. Uh, Oh, what is, am I hung up? No. <laughs> no, I'm not hung up. I think he dropped it. He felt that. I think he dropped it. He bit it, then he went to the opposite side. And when he went to the opposite side, he felt he felt the rod. Okay, let's go back up to this. There's some activity.
back to the activity area. This is where I dropped the uh, bait. As soon as I dropped it, yeah, there it goes now. As soon as I dropped it, it went. Look, same thing's happening. Except I didn't drop it. Let's go with him so he don't feel it. Get a spinner around. Go ahead, go ahead. Stop. Now nah, let's see. Yeah, he could take it. <laughs> He's laying with it. He's not moving. it up and down right now. Go back to the activity area. Should be just about there. There, you see it? Okay, we should be on top of it again. I'm waiting. Come on, somebody grab some bait. Oh, there. <laughs> There's that one. Where's he going? See that? Oh, he's going under the boat. You know, good. Under the boat. I've just had it, I don't know. I just the drag all the way. What is it? Hey! I knew it was you. I knew it was you. Okay. A little guy like that, like you. Now stop, stop. Look what I got for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See how that circle cook got him? Come on, don't cut the line. Let's see, can I get on this side? Of course, he's got to be spinning around. <laughs> I got the hook. Oh, come on. Let's go of the line. Oh, the line is between his teeth. Mr. Gore, Mr. Gore. Well. Yeah, he's wrapped all the way around. Okay, let's... Oh, wait a second. Cut the line. What happens to the hook? Hook is out. There it goes. I uh, throw some cut bait out. 
and there was like there was activity on the water. Threw some cut bait out, and uh, before you know, the line was moving. I guess they prefer cut bait today. Let me let me uh, just pick it up. Don't lock it in. I don't wanna. Now I'm gonna lock it in. Ready? Watch the rod. Okay, I'm just locked in. Locked in. It's on the bottom. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a bar. Okay, got him. It should not be a gar. On the jump was cut baits working. Drag is fine. Had more luck today on cut bait. Than live bait. Come on, Mr. Bowfin, we're looking for you. That's him. That is him. Look at that fight. Huh? Where are you going to get that kind of fight? Bess? <laughs> Bess, you get two jumps. And he's gonna roll over. Look at this guy. Ready? Smack. Whoa, wait a second. No! It's a catfish. How about that on cut bait? Finally got one this year. Okay. I guess they're done spawning. Blue catfish. Uh, you know what? I don't like him pinching me. That's why I got these uh, fish grips. I don't like him pinching me. But let's put let's put the fish grips on here where they should have been. Okay. Like that, I don't lose them. I like the ones where you can wrap around your uh, wrist, or the ones that spin even. Come out the way you went in. Circle hooks. the way I'm gonna feel a couple of weeks when they pull my tooth Just let them rest oh yeah it's a beautiful day uh, water temperature is 85 degrees it, di it did come down from 90 uh, got a little bit of rain so let's see what happens I'm coming to the hot zone here. I got a live sunfish here. And, well, <laughs> he already got attacked once. So I don't know how much life he's got in him. But do you see that? I don't know. Did you see the activity up there ahead of me? Something jumped. Well, let's see what happens. I should cut this one in half. Use them as cut bait, but let's see what happens.
Right there, something came up. Could be a turtle. Mm. See that? I'm getting closer and closer. Getting closer and closer to the strike zone. Before you know, one of these lines will be going. Right on top of it. Okay, next video we'll try 50 uh, Cherry Grove. We'll try, we'll, we'll, next video I'll try Cherry Grove. See what's over there. Okay, we're in a strike zone. Almost quiet. This is where the activity was. Ten foot of water. I'm, stand, I'm standing by, by the anchor. We got a big fish and he's on. I'm going to drop the anchor so he doesn't pause. into the trees and first I got to make sure I got them very calm right now Water is very low. It did rain a little bit, but it's very low. No boats. You see kayaks, but no boats. Oh, oh, oh. There goes the line. There goes the line. You'll see the spool. What you'll see the uh, line coming up the spool very soon. There it goes. There it goes. You know what? This is the hot spot. Let me drop anchor. Ten foot. Let me drop anchor here. Shouldn't scare him. <laughs> Look at him go. Uh, okay, we dropped anchor. The uh, bait runner is still wide open. Trying to feel for the fish. Yeah, he's still there. It's a small fish, you know what? Let's lock it in. It's a small fish. It shouldn't take him long to swallow it. Come on. Yeah, he's on it. He's still on it. You'll see the rod bend. Yeah, he's moving it. He's going someplace else. He's going someplace else. Staying down. Staying down 10 feet. Ready? Let's see. Ah.
Well, I still got him. I, I don't feel him because he's moving. Let's see, what is it? What do you got? Ah. Uh. Yeah, 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 I know. Good. Good. It was a small gar. Okay, took the fish, I don't care. Let's put another one on. But we are in the uh, in the zone here. No, I, don't, I was uh, I was hoping it wasn't gonna be the gar zone. You know what? Let's use cut bait. Usually cut bait attracts them real fast. Cut this fin off. Top fin. I gotta get decent scissors. I like to cut the tails. Okay, after fishing, I'm stopping at the store getting some scissors. This guy in half, and I should have done this first, but if we cut the uh, gills, that'll make them bleed. And this will definitely attract fish. Okay. okay. Drop it down pretty good. This one's almost. Let's put this. This one we have a uh, live sunfish in there. Let's keep them alive. I'm anchored up in the hot zone. What's happening with this guy? Okay. Look at this. Look at this. How you got how you gonna catch anything like this? I thought I had something already on that. On that cut bait, but I don't think so. Okay, let's drop him down.
thing is up a little bit. Good. Whew. Yeah, the water's kind of low. Um, until it rains more, I will go to Cherry Grove. Fish the salt water. Uh, this is pretty tough fishing. There's no boats here. Uh, it should be good for um, both in. They like muddy water. They're like low oxygen levels. I don't want to catch car. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, another beautiful day on the Wacomo River. As you see how low it is, beautiful sand. Just like the beach, all sandy here. A lot of these trees could live in the water because the water goes way up there. Well, swampland. Maybe it is floating. Get your feet out there till you feel the bottom, and you could jump out into a nice sandy. Oh. 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 It is tough getting up after fishing for uh, five hours. Sitting in a kayak. Well, it's time to pull the kayak up the hill. Have a good one, everyone.